Part 5. I am a single mother. I will continue the story when he invited me to go shopping with him. The feeling of being close to him and engaging in conversation with someone dynamic and intelligent made me a shy, introverted person, more lively and enthusiastic. He is kind and mature. No wonder other beautiful girls can't help but feel fluttered. I had silently loved him for a long time, but I couldn't overcome my self-esteem issues. And I feared he wouldn't reciprocate my feelings. I hesitated. I wish I had the courage back then, maybe we could have become the couple I always dreamed of. I know love must come from both sides for it to last. Before that, a few friends from the same boarding house gathered to watch a long Korean drama series. At that time, my friend got an old laptop. And to watch the series, we had to go to computer rental shops to copy it onto a USB, and then the whole boarding house would gather to watch. My roommate probably thought I was hesitant and didn't talk about my crush on his cousin, so she talked to the other boarders. When I joined to watch, one of them vaguely said that we should open up our hearts, and share if we have any issues. I'm sensitive, so I could understand the hint. I joked that maybe we all should do that. It might make us feel more comfortable. Do you know that not only are the long Korean dramas appealing with beautiful, romantic actors and captivating love stories, but also for those of us from the countryside and the city, they bring a fresh experience that we can't resist? We could watch for two whole days on the weekend, forgetting even to sleep. There were times when he suddenly came down without notifying us, catching us watching a movie at 10 p.m. My roommate told me that he had texted me earlier, and I should have replied that I was studying for the exams next week. I greeted him and invited him into the room. He asked us why we weren't studying in our room. I told him that we had just come over because our friend Lan called us. She was having back pain and wanted us to come and give her a massage. Seeing that I said that, he didn't say anything else. I continued, asking him if he was out late. He said he attended the birthday party of a friend nearby and decided to drop by to visit us. Then he went to his car and brought back a large bag full of cakes, candies, and soft drinks for us. I knew that whenever he came down, he was always thoughtful and never came empty-handed. Lan's voice echoed from her room to mine, thanking us. She added, wondering who cared about whom, coming to visit at this late hour. She said how lucky we were. Her words made him awkwardly laugh. And I felt a bit embarrassed too. Perhaps Lan also noticed my feelings for him and his friendly affection towards us, more than just a casual friendship. After that, the three of us chatted for a while before he left. Every time he came down, it was during the day, but today was different. He came in the evening, and his mature charm, warm gaze, and bright smile made me even more infatuated with him. Maybe tonight, I'll lose sleep again because of him. However, the more I meet him, the happier I am, and when he leaves, I feel a sense of sadness and emptiness. I hope he can tell me a few things, like if he could text or call me when he comes back home. If that happens, I would know that he has feelings and wants to get to know me more. I feel foolish for thinking that as a man, he should initiate the conversation. Why didn't I text him first? When he comes back, I can also send a thank you message, and inquire about his daily work and studies to understand how he feels about me. I blame myself for wasting time and being somewhat stingy in not expressing my interest through messages or calls. I relied on the thought that he would come to my place every week. And somehow he would notice my feelings, finding a way to express his emotions towards me. Once, I confided in my roommate that I wished for beautiful love and wanted to be unexpectedly cared for. Like holding hands or receiving a sudden kiss. That would make me agree instantly.